Was it, was it exciting? No, it was boring. <laughs> Wait, did it, it was actually, cold. I know that. Did you get to see the groundhog? Itself? I did see the groundhog when he pulled it up and he held it up. Did he see the shadow? He did that day. Yeah. It's like a symbol. Six minutes. <laughs> I know, he held it like that. He's like, oh, it's like, go, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> go, Phil. <laughs> and you know there was just that one guy, whoo! And it's just really quiet, just like a couple of claps. That was Rob. That was me. <laughs> I let loose. <laughs> I let We found you. That was an adventure. Right after you guys left me, I see a deer run across as fast as it could and probably stop. And then a fox, a fox? was chasing the deer. Dang. So I took my music and my headphones out and put my head or my music so I didn't come up on a, <laughs> a mountain lion or, or something. Well, the segment four has been lots of different kinds of terrain, but mostly very beautiful. Um, there's been quite a bit of hills um, up uh, and down with the elevation and um, running on dirt quite a bit, um, some trail, um, which was pretty technical trail, and lots of wildlife, so that's been beautiful. Um, we've had an array of weather, it's been snow and sunny <laughs> and overcast and cold and <laughs> a little bit of everything. Uh -huh. I hope you don't get too cold. <laughs> no, it's I didn't bring enough warm weather stuff, but it was like chilly at all. Oh, I thought because it would have been too easy if you had. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel knowing that she cares so much genuinely about, you know, something that you have to go through and wanting to help others that are like you in this? Well, it makes me feel like, you know, grateful to her and that she, you know, that my wife has probably the biggest heart of anybody I know and uh, that she's willing to do whatever she can to help people and she always she, that's what she does that's why she's a doctor she wants to help people and and she always just she always puts everybody else ahead of herself and she rarely just thinks of, does things just for her it's, she, she does things for everybody else and it's, that's why I married her because she's such a great person because she puts other people's needs ahead of her own so Laurie what are you doing right now I am buying us tickets to see Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, well, he's an MCU character that uh, controls, well, he has the time stones, so he can control time, and uh, he was a neurosurgeon who uh, ended up becoming Doctor Strange after a car accident that um, involved his hands, so he couldn't be a surgeon anymore. Wait, is that why you like Doctor Strange? Because of the doctor part? He's an actual... It's kind of like that, yeah. So then, obviously, you're a doctor. There's got to be some level of compassion for others, wanting to help them, wanting to help heal them. What does that mean to you? Why, why is it so important for you to do this? Not only because Rob's your husband, but also from a doctor's perspective, too. For most doctors, the biggest reason that you go into medicine and, and, and go into... A career that takes that long to uh, get through school for, um, you really have to have a drive to want to help people at, at, at the really center of, of why you do it is because you want to help people. And um, what you find as you go further into your career of being a doctor is that you don't, you get separated from the people you really want to help because of logistical things and insurance and, and all of that. Um, so you, you get less of that value of, I'm actually doing something to, 
to truly help this person or these group of people. Um, but this run is kind of like a very solid way to say, you know, we raise this money, we're going out there, we're doing something super hard, really just for the fact that we're trying to help people. Good enough. What'd you think though? 172 miles down and now you have... Eight more to go. Eight more to go and Doctor Strange has checked off the list. Checked off the list. All we have to do is get to the finish line. <laughs> Last day, best day. Last day. That legs have tighter than usual or than yeah. what they have been? They're tight. They're saying let's get to the finish. Yeah. I'm so happy for you though. I know. You worked so hard to get to this point. It's been an adventure. $12,687 and ran 180 miles to stop MS.